Want to bet? You can do it at Sports Interaction. It's Canada Sportsbook. It's football season. World Series just oh, wrapped up. Oh, my favorite. Uh, yeah, yeah, Steve, who knows so much about football. Uh, World Series did re- just wrap up, but we do have a lot of puck and a lot of NBA. You can bet pregame. You can bet live and play or on one of the many prop bets made for Canadians by Canadians. Sports Interaction makes it easy to deposit, play, and cash out. So join now to see all that betting has to offer. Head to sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN. That's sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN. You, you were faster. Thank you for doing that because he would have messed it up. Yeah. I wouldn't have. I know the read. <laughs> you know what you forgot? Ontario only, 19 plus. Please play responsible. You guys both made fun of me. Okay. Dude, he's awful. Now, we got to do a couple things before we wrap the show up. First off, producer Drew is asking us. That's right. He requested that we give, a, give, the, give the people our top five teams of the season so far based on what? Best. On best. Whatever, whatever teams you think are the top five teams in the league, we'll do that. So, Steve, you want to start us off at number five? Oh, boy. Okay, oh, at number five, I was trying to figure out what order to put them in. Don't look. I'm don't sorry. Look. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, um, you know what? I'm going to go Seattle Kraken. Oh, I like that pick. I like that pick. They are one of the best teams in the league. They're on a five-game winning streak right now, and they have done it absolute. In, they've done it in absolute silence. No one's talking about this team. No one cares that they're playing well. Mm-hmm. I couldn't tell you who their top scorer is. They've just been going about their business. And here they are fairly comfortably in a playoff spot. And we're a month into the season. Mm-hmm. That it, 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 Congrats to the Seattle Kraken for the best month in franchise history. Yeah, no kidding. Good Legit. for them. Legit. Okay. Do we now, Do I want to go fives, four, three, two, one around the room? Or do I go five, four, two, three, two, one, Steve? Or how do we want to do this? Around the room. Around so it'll, the be, room. it'll be five, 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 yeah. four, four, four. Yeah, let's three, do it. We'll do a rotation. Jesse, what's yours? Uh, in fifth place for me, I have the Winnipeg Jets. Hey, good the pick. Winnipeg Jets are playing really hard right now. They are, I think, in my opinion, outplaying their skill level in that they are hustling. New head coach in there seems to be doing his thing with the crew. And it's the return of Connor Hellebuck. He is standing on his head. He is saving some games for them. And if they get this level of goaltending, and, you know, if Shifley decides to backcheck every now and again, this is a team that could surprise in a, in a week. Western Conference, yeah, and I like everything I've seen out of the Winnipeg Jets so far. Fifth place for me. The West does look a little bad. <laughs> um, I'm going to say, at number five for me, and this will be surprising considering the ranks I gave them in the offseason, the Philadelphia Flyers. I thought about it. Surprise thought about of it. the year so far, and I wouldn't be shocked if one of you have them higher on the list. Listen, John Tortorella said, coming in, this team needs an identity. We got accountability problems. I'm not going to name a captain, not a chance. And this team without Van Riemsdyk, Tortorella favorite Cam, Cam Atkinson, and a couple other big players like Ryan Ellis uh, are are just... And I, they you, should be in 33rd place. They should. But and, they are continuing yeah. to do extremely well. And you know what I love about them? They are 4-1-1 one, and one at home. They are. Philadelphia is a hard place to play again. As it and, always should be. That's how it should be. Je- uh, Steve, go ahead with number four, my friend. Philly in a playoff spot, by the way. Number four, I'm going to go with Jesse's number five, the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, so for any Canucks fan that had any issue with any of the things I had to say about their team and JT Miller, th- this is exactly what I saw um, the Jets were capable of. On paper, I, I think they have the skill. I really do. They have the talent. They've showed us that they have the talent by going on playoff runs for several years. And this offseason is... They had the opportunity to really let the wheels fall all the way off. They start the season. Their coach isn't even there. Uh, Their brand new coach isn't even there because he got COVID. Uh, And still, here they are. Mike, Mark Shifley, killing it. Lake Wheeler, not the captain anymore. Uh, Doesn't matter. Connor Hellebuck, fantastic. One of the top teams in the league right now. Jesse Blake, number four. Number four. You know, this offseason, we all talked about, oh, Boston's going to maybe fall out of one of those Atlantic spots, and we're penciling in Mm. Florida and Tampa and Toronto. They're going to be there. Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Red Wings show. (laughs) And it's because of three players on this team who have been just off to a terrific start. One, Dylan Larkin, 15 points in 13 games. Two, you wouldn't have expected this, but Dominique Kubalik Kubalik is on 
Fuego, <laughs> 16 points in 13 games to start the year. And the best offseason signing, value, uh, personality-wise, skill-wise, Vili Huso. Ladies you don't and even gentlemen, know what his voice sounds like. You could have all face. had him. Pick Vili Huso out of a lineup. Jesse. You could have all had Vili Huso. I know what he looks like. Stop it. Five and one to start the year. Save percentage. 941. Love, love. Dude is on fire. Great start for the Red Wings. Uh, I believe they're 7 3 and 3. 17 points to start the year. Uh, great start for a very young team that looks to be very good. My number four is also the Winnipeg Jets. And I got to say, the one thing that's always made sense to me about Winnipeg, what, what they're doing, it doesn't matter what they do on forward. It doesn't matter what they do on defense. It all comes down to one name. And it's the best goalie in the league. And that's Connor Hellebuck. I have, I'm a fan uh, of him. This guy, if he keeps playing like this, he is the runaway Vezina Trophy winner. He is unbelievable year in and year out. And the only thing that's really let him down before is the shitty defense they play around him. Uh, go Hunter, go Connor Hallibuck, Winnipeg Jets at number four. Steve, give us your number three. You know what Jesse has on the screen right now? What? It's Billy Husso. <laughs> he, he just needed to check. He needed to check that need, I knew what no, I just want like. to pull him up. You guys are making fun. Yeah, I said yeah. he has a great personality. He doesn't talk a lot, but he's awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, he doesn't great bring play. the smile like uh, Sam Sano. Yeah, go he, ahead. he has one of the weird uh, uh, headshot, player of headshots. By the way, so, I just want to throw this out there. Hallibuck, right behind Husso, he's got a 938 Where save percentage. Where is he? Right behind. But where? What's that oh, B word? Okay. Behind him. Because who sells number one? All right. Screaming. All right. Go ahead, Jeff. <laughs> Steve. Number three. We should all have the same top three, except in different orders, to be mm, honest. Maybe. Uh, number three, and I'm deciding the order right now. Yeah. You know what? Number three, I'm going to go with. I'm amazed a coach hasn't been fired yet. And this team is part of the reason why I thought it was going to take Max five games, the New Jersey Devils. Well, the fans sure wanted it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and sometimes the fans are wrong too. And Devils fans uh, gave Adam a lot of shit for imagining that Adam ever criticized them. You never did. Never happened. Never. Never. Why would he? <laughs> um, but no, Devils fans, I think, could admit they were wrong. They were booing Lindy Ruff out of the building during the home opener. And now here they are, I believe, the top-ranked team in the entire league. No. That's uh, Vegas. Vegas. The top five. Top five. They're way up there. They're running over Western Canada. They're running over every opponent, basically. No, what I meant was uh, they are <laughs> nine and one in their last 10. Um, gotta love what the Devils are doing. Great story. Jesse Blake, number three. I also have the New Jersey Devils at number three. I did not know that Jesper Bratt had this in them in him. Uh, I did not think Vitek Vanacek would uh, be playing this well. Mackenzie Blackwood hasn't been that great, but uh, they are getting goaltending. And the thing we've been saying for years, if they can finally put it together and the young stars step up and take another step and they get goaltending, they're going to be decent. And that's mm -hmm. what they are. It's imagine. It's, it's amazing what you can do with, with not the worst <laughs> goaltending in the entire NHL. In like the history of the league. Yeah, which <laughs> they had. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go a uh, number three with the we thought they were done Boston Bruins mm -hmm. uh, Mitchell Miller situation aside this team has been unbelievable the vibes immaculate immaculate and in the and, locker room and you know what it just as a Leaf fan it's sort of like uh, um, it's sort of the end of Anchorman God you know I hate you Ron Burgundy but God damn it I respect you that's what the Bruins are to me a Leaf fan uh, how can you not love Patrice Bergeron God, I hate Brad Marchand, but I kind of love him too. And there's so much about being a Bruin that you respect, that you enjoy. And it is fun to see this last ride. And they have t torn up the NHL. Two great goalies. Unbelievable Boston Bruins, number three. Yeah, 11 and two, I think they are. And they're my number two uh, team right now. Uh, the Boston Bruins. I It was a real toss up between one and two. Uh, they're the hottest team in the league or one of them. Sorry. Uh, they did lose to the Leafs. Hey, high five, high five. But it's not just uh, how well they're doing. It's we thought they were dead. Yes. Um, exactly. I, I had them, I th want to say third in the Atlantic. You guys were uh, wrong and had them lower. Um, but I even I was fourth. wrong. <laughs> yeah, I was even wrong. Like they, I should have had them. Apparently, I should have had them first in the league um, or second in the league, whatever they are now. Um, no Marchand, 
still hot. No McAvoy, still no McAvoy, still hot. Uh, Allmark has lost exactly one game. Uh, listen, there's been a lot of talk about the culture in the Bruins room. The Bruins organization rightfully taken left and right punches all week. They deserve it. The room, that's one of the most bulletproof rooms in the entire league. And this is why, this is why it's hard to quantify magic. And they got it. Jesse Blake. Remember I told you we'd have the same top three except in a different order. I have the Boston Bruins at number two. Ah. So uh, we should definitely shout out Allmark. We should definitely shout out uh, David Pasternak, who has 20 points so far this season. That's ridiculous. Uh, He's probably not going to challenge McDavid because McDavid's on fire, but Pasternak is having a great season. And uh, I think I mentioned this before. The Boston Bruins are two years away from their 100th anniversary as a team. This season is their greatest start ever yep. in those 98 years. That is one hell of an accomplishment. And they have uh, so many Hall of Famers on their team. And we're going to look back on this era of Bruins from 2011-ish. Maybe I should go back. 20, 2008 uh, I'd say from the moment they signed Zdeno Chara, which I think was 2007. 2007 through 2020. Four, if they get a couple more in yeah. this. Yeah. This little run of Boston Bruins hockey, it's going down in history as one of the greatest runs of sports teams uh, in the NHL. You know, the, all the Hall of Famers are going to be on it. And this, if this is their last dance, uh, that'll be sad to end. But they're going out with a bang, unbelievable team so far this year. They're my number two. My number two is a team that looked like number two last year and had a number two year. <laughs> they were bloated. They were overcapped. They were poorly managed, and their starting goaltender wasn't even going to play this year. Didn't play this year. But don't worry, they found two more. It's the Vegas Golden Knights, yeah. guys. They have won eight games in a row. This is a team that really doesn't have one player that scored a bazillion points. Like, if you look at the Oilers, it's like, McDavid, Dreisaitl, and then everybody else. This team scores by committee, and I I think it's kind of fascinating to have a look at it because you got Eichel, 15 points in 14 games. Riley Smith, 12 and 14. William Carlson, 12 and 14. Chandler Stevenson, 11 and 14. Mark Stone, 11 and 14. Marcia, so 10 and 14. Shea Theodore and Alex Petrangelo also have 10 points. When you have that kind of scoring all the way through the lineup, and you have two goaltenders who are duking it out for best goalie on this team, uh, and honestly, could be duking it out for best goalie in the league here pretty oh, yeah. soon. Thompson and Aiden Hill, between the two of them, have only lost two games, and they both have a, a save percentage over 925. I don't know about the Vesna, but a Jennings could be coming the way. Well, and you way. could... If things even out, and they will for some of the goalies with the ridiculously high save percentages, you could see a split Vesna this year for the first time in a long, long time with these two. Yeah, we always say that. I don't know. Yeah, it'd be nice to see. Steve, your number one is Vegas for all the reasons that you laid out. Hottest team in the league. And what you described is what made Vegas so good in their inaugural year and the year after. They just come at you in waves. It's absolutely endless it's relentless they outskate you they out hustle you they out shoot you they outscore you all that while uh they have an amazing blue line back there a big blue line back there a blue line that knows how to move the puck goalies who know how to stop it i'm sorry what is there to not like about the vegas gold and who would have thunk who would have thunk jesse blake i have vegas in number one uh let's take a moment to appreciate jack eichel coming off of what he did, uh, what happened to him last year in the saga with Buffalo, and then you come back. Finally, a full healthy, uh, full recovery offseason. You come to training camp, you start the season, you are uh, having a great year so far with six goals, nine assists, 15 points in 14 games. Jack Eichel leading the Vegas Golden Knights like we always thought he could after he got traded there. Yeah. Fantastic start for the Can they keep up number one status, though, now that they have no more games left against the Leafs? Oh, uh, it's going to be tough. Hey, Toronto Bias Media. All we do is talk about the negative things here in Toronto. The Toronto Maple Leafs were the last team to lose at home to the Vegas Golden Knights. Now, <laughs> Vegas now has beaten all 32 teams on the road. You're right. That was the last one. Nobody ever talked about that. Yeah. That was the fucking record, and the Leafs were the, the Leafs yeah. out that record. We're, they didn't lose to the Vegas Golden Knights at home. We're 32nd. We're three Come three on! Three. They yeah. finally did something good, and nobody yeah. talks about it. Now we oh, should talk about that more. Yeah. No, now guys, no talk about the negative stuff. Shut your face. 
Guys, it might surprise you. Oh, you got it. It might surprise you that people slept on number one. But you would be an idiot. You would be a moron. You would be completely out of touch if you did not take the NHL's best team and put them at number one. They are the NHL's most looked over franchise. The fans are demanding your respect. Damn it, you better give it to them. It's the New Jersey seven games in a row Devils, motherfucker. This team is unbelievable. They started this season three and three, and people were like, uh oh, fire Lindy. I don't think so, guys. This team is <laughs> unbelievable. 5 2 and 0 oh at home. That's the key. And what's crazy about the Devils this year, and this is why I put them above Vegas and above Boston, you could conceive Boston being good. I don't know that anybody called Boston being this good this early. Nobody called that. Okay. You could conceive of Vegas being good. They barely missed the playoffs last year. There were some questions in that, but you thought, okay, you know what? They play a good system. They got a really good coach in Bruce Cassidy and full season of Jack Eichel with a full training camp. Yeah, yeah I think they look pretty good. Two wild card teams. You the, don't know where they're going to end up. The Devils were trash last year. Absolute trash. And there were people going, don't sleep on them. Don't sleep on them to me means, hey, they moved up 16 spots in the standings from near dead last to 13th. Good for you. Great. You're in the playoffs. Fantastic. But nobody had them in the top three, no. uh, except for me, because I have been a believer since forever. Did you the New Jersey Devils. Constantly, we're trying to get Jesse and I on board. And we just and I just don't do know it. why you guys didn't. I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand what you don't get about this team. <laughs> yes, for Brad, Nico, he shirt, Jack Hughes, Dougie Hamilton, all the people that you need to be scoring are scoring. And look at this. They have goaltending. OK, Vitek Vanacek. Actually, I mean, Mackenzie Blackwood not playing has actually done them a favor. Vanacek is far and away the better goalie this year. And that's in comparable games. Uh, Vanacek's played eight. Blackwood has played seven. Um, and he's got a 9.15 save percentage. Guys, the New Jersey Devils are nothing to, to mess with. They're fast. They're young. And they have literally nothing to lose. That's scary. Who are the Washington Capitals uh, goaltending scouts? So... Explain what you mean, Steve. Well, Ilya Samsonov is off to a great start, and Vitek Vanacek is off to an even better one. And uh, the Caps went out and spent big money on Darcy Kemper. And How's that going? Not th well, not that he's been bad, but that feels like a... Uh, Could you have had both of those decent. goalies for the same price it cost you to get Darcy Kemper? Uh, that's a good question, Adam. Just feels like a bit of a whiff. Shout out to the New Jersey Devils and their fans. Number one on my power rankings list.